They just announced that they're adding UADs for Godot 4.4. And in this video, we'll go over how to use them, what they're used for, and if you should use them. But if you want to learn more, you can go on their blog post where they explain everything, why they did it, how they did it, and what they're used for. And I've set up an example project here in Godot. Here I have script A and script B. I've made both in GD script and C sharp to explain how you can use them in both languages. So first of all, let's start with GD script. Here you can see at the top, we have a UAD and a path. They're both strings and we can use them to load directly with the UAD or the path. Now you might say, how do I get this UAD? Well, if you go in GD script here and you right click, on any resource in the editor, you see here you have a copy UID. If I press this and then I paste it here, you can see we get the same string. So this string is unique for every file. That is what it stands for, unique identifier. So you can use this to load anything instead of directly linking to a path. The advantage of this is if you use the UID, you don't have to worry about the path. But for now, as you can see, this is very cryptic, like which script is this, which is why I added this comment on top to explain what this UAD is for. So it is a bit cryptic and it's very hard to see what it is for, but it should work no matter what, if you move the file or not, because you're linking by this and go to in the background knows that this UAD is for that script and for that script only. And this is done by adding a UAD file for every resource in your Godot project. So you can't see them now, but if, if you go in your file manager, you can see here we have a script A GD UID, a script A CS UID. So Godot now creates a UID file for every resource in your project. This means also shaders, materials, anything like that, which does add a bit of a clutter. But luckily in Godot, you don't have this problem because the Godot editor knows and it excludes these files. Instead, you just right click, as I said, and you copy the UAD from here. But if we go now into C sharp and you can see here, I also set up the same thing. If we go in the inspector here in C sharp, you can see we have all these UAD files, which can get very cluttered real fast. And especially even when committing files to your GitHub or whatever you're using, this is a lot of extra files. And they said this might not be the final solution. They might change it in the future. But for now, this is how it is and how it works. As you can see, I also added the UAD in the path. And you can also load the same way with the UAD in the path. But if you only want to work with paths and not UADs, there is a way to hide all of these UAD files in VS Code. If you go into settings and you search files here in the exclude, we can add a pattern here. And this is the pattern. And now, as you can see, it hides all of them. But do be wary that if you move files from inside of VS code, you will have to move both files, which is the script and the UID for that script, because it can break and it can get all messy. For now, if you move it from here to another folder, if I move it, I will be only moving this script and not the UID. So it will still work, but it will be disconnected because you will have the UID file here, but the script will be here, which is the reason why they added all of these UID files. So you can move files from outside of Godot without it breaking. But if you hide them, you won't be able to move both of them together. So it will all be disconnected which is why I still prefer of doing it the old way by going here in Godot and moving script B, for example, to folder A. And Godot should move it for you. As you can see here, it moved it for me. And this way it won't break. But instead, if you're doing it from VS Code and you hide them, you, they will be disconnected. So here, if I move this to this folder, see it moved it but if we go here this one stayed here so that's not good they're disconnected and things will break and won't work which is why this was added in the first place so now the path is totally wrong the UID still is right which is why you might want to work with uids you know if you don't want to think about this stuff but 
it's still very hard because it's very cryptic. It's just a string of letters and numbers, so it doesn't mean anything. For example, here, you know that it's linking to some script, but this way you don't really know, This is which is why I added the comment. But this is why they added it, so you can move files from outside of Godot. But I would still advise moving files from inside of Godot, so it does it for you, so you don't have to think about this stuff. And you can just hide the files from inside of here, which kind of defeats the purpose, but it is the way it is. I don't know, maybe they'll change it in the future. Still maybe experimental, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I wanted to share, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.